What if lightning strikes a beacon in Minecraft? For this experiment, we had to completely change the way lightning works, and we did that using a new block we've created called the Conductor. This block allows us to take the power of lightning and put it into any item or block in the game. But it can't do this alone. We're going to need to use the new lightning rod added in Minecraft 1.17. And now we need a little bit of lightning. If only we could speed this up a little bit. Hey, that'll work. I think it would be best to give you an example of how this works before we get into the beacon. So let's place a glass bottle in this particular conductor. And as you can see, if we hop on top, and let's just throw this diamond down and go ahead and strike the... Oh, well, uh, I missed. <clears throat> let's try that again. <laughs> and strike... <laughs> <laughs> the diamond <laughs> and that allows us to get lightning in a bottle that's right lightning in a bottle and it's just as good as you might think it is oh uh a little a little too good i i guess you could say is is that my head on the ground all right let's try that again <laughs> Ah, that's a little bit better. For our experiment, the conductor block is going to allow us to take the power of lightning and essentially transform various different items and blocks in the game, of course, using the lightning. So as another example, we can take a golden apple, and of course, if we throw away this trash on top and use the trident of power, we can of course create an enchanted golden apple, because why not? Lum, 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 lum. I guess you could say I feel recharged. Okay, hopefully by now you get the point. The conductor allows us to take lightning and essentially gives us recipes to then take items like a bottle and turn it into a lightning in a bottle. Any questions? Now this can be used for a lot more than just items. For this example, we have copper bars, which let's be honest, copper bars need to be in Minecraft 1.17. I mean, come on. But this isn't going to do the trick. So what do you say we take it up a notch? Oh, uh, whoops. <laughs> Using the power of the conductor with our copper bars, let's conduct, y c conduct, get it? <laughs> let's conduct another experiment using yet again another useless item with our trident of power to create charged copper bars. Hang on a minute, charged copper bars. Okay, so charged copper bars work exactly as you would expect them to. You can now use these to protect anything in the game. And it zaps you, it's really painful. As you can see, it doesn't feel quite good at all. This actually hurts a lot. <sighs> okay, let's see if it actually works with more than just me because Hey, there we go. It works with more than just me, as you can see. No, hey, 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 oh! Stupid creeper. Anyways, I think you get the point. Charged copper bars would be great for protecting anything. Just maybe not from creepers, because, well, yeah, I mean, they're... Yeah, they're creepers. <laughs> oh, and on the topic of creepers, the lightning in a bottle works exactly as you think it would. It brings the lightning to you through the transportation of a bottle. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Come on, get on with it already. It's time for the beacon. The ultimate test. What happens if lightning strikes a beacon? Let's find out, shall we? So, the answer we've all been waiting for. What happens when lightning strikes a beacon? I suppose it's time to find out. Oh, I misplaced my trident. There it is. Okay, so, the moment of truth. A charged beacon. Oh, who would have thought? You know, I've got to say, we've come a really long way in this survival world. I mean, after all, netherite? That's incredible. Wow, talk about having just enough. That's incredible. That, my friends, is our charged beacon, which, as you can see, has the charged effect in everything. But what happens to a charged beacon? to make it charged. So, as you can see, the charged beacon takes any normal beacon effect and simply amplifies it so that we have one step higher than you would typically have in a normal beacon. That, my friends, is what happens when a lightning charges a beacon. Not to mention, I mean, hey, it just looks amazing. This beacon is so beautiful. It's a beacon of light and a beacon of lightning. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it for the conductor, my friends. I want to know though, what do you think would happen? Oh, hang on. Oh, come on. All right. 
What do you think would happen if a bucket of lightning were to exist in the game? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then you may also enjoy Origin Realms, a Minecraft server created by myself and a group of really talented individuals bringing ideas like the ones you see in my videos to vanilla Minecraft. Check the description below for more information. This idea seemed a lot cooler in planning, but that is essentially the idea of the conductor block. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the idea of being able to take lightning and use it as a power source, but there aren't really that many ways we could use it other than maybe powering a furnace or redstone. I don't know, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Also, if you want to download this mod, I'll release it once my Twitter account gets 14,000 followers. You'll find a link in the description below, so if you're not following today go ahead and give it a follow <laughs> that it helped me out a lot my friends that is going to do it for today's video if you enjoyed please do consider subscribing it really really helps me out but i chose two videos just for you that i think you're going to like even more than this video that's right if you click to the left you could see how i gave pillagers an update for minecraft and if you click to the right you could see what if minecraft added magnets both are fantastic, and I think you're going to love them. But that being said, thanks for watching.